welcome back to the channel. I hope you're here for another fabulous craft video. Woohoo! Because it's Craft Wednesday. Woo! We're gonna be doing it. We're gonna be crafting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that was. So, anyways, let's, let's move on from that. I don't know what that was. Let's just move on from that. But for this craft video, we are going to be making a lovely, cute, and adorable oil diffuser for your car. It's made out of clay and it's just, it's, it's so cute. Look at that. I love it. I love it so much. And I did make two others when I made my personal one. But, um, and I'll probably put them up in the shop. So, there is that. But look at this. This is so cute. But we are going to be making that. But before we get into making this cute little thing, if you are new to the channel, hello dears, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me so you can be here for all of our awesome random content. And if you are my current subscribers, hello loves, I hope you're having a fabulous day, night, or evening. Whichever one you are either watching this video or whatever time frame it is. You know, kind of, kind of deal there. But we are going to get into making this. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen the little oil diffusers that you can do for your car. Well, not oil diffusers, but the essential oil like necklaces and stuff that you can just put the oil on and stuff. This is the same premise, just for your for your car, and it's a bat. So we are going to go ahead and cut into that, and I will meet y'all back at the end. Okay, so to start this craft video, obviously we're going to need to gather our supplies for everything. So you're going to need your air dry clay. For me, I have mine wrapped up in a couple of things of aluminum foil and a saran wrap, a saran wrap bag to keep it nice and cool. And you're also going to need whatever cookie cutter you want. I'm choosing to do my bats and I have a couple different sizes. I'm pretty much doing the medium size and the small size. I could do the large, but I think that's a bit overkill. Maybe for like Christmas decorations, I might do that later. But for now, we're just going to use those two sizes. Now, you're going to need some kind of board or mat to actually like cut out your designs on. Me, I just have some spare board that I'm going to be using for a different project. And I just put some, I just put a cover over it. In this case, a Ziploc bag just to make sure the clay doesn't get stuck to the board. And then you're going to need something to change the color of your clay if you choose to do this part. I'm using just some standard acrylic paint. You're also going to need your, I think it's your eyelet needles or your your pin needles, eye pin needles. I can't remember what they are, but they're when you make jewelry, they have the little eye holes on them and they're the straight bar. That's what they are. So we're going to be using those. And for me, I have a old ketchup bottle. Well, I use it for painting, but to help me roll out my to help me roll out my clay, so I can cut out my designs better. You know just to get it flat and you're also going to need some water since we are working with air dry clay because it does you know it does dry out fairly quickly when you are working with it especially outside so you're definitely going to need some water for that you're also going to need a pair of gloves if you're choosing to use your if you're choosing to like change the color of your clay you're going to need some gloves so it doesn't get all over your hands or you can just use gloves if you want to just so it doesn't get as messy and then also over on the side, I just have like a little plate to put my air dry, to put my um, charms to dry. And I have a little sheet of paper that I was going to use for embossing because it does have a raised design on it. But it ended up not really working, so later on I don't actually end up using this. But just for reference, you can use some kind of sheet to kind of emboss a design onto your charm. Alright, and to jump right into this craft, we're going to be choosing the cookie cutter size that we want to use. For me, like I said, I'm using the medium primarily for the charm that I personally will be keeping. And then I end up using the small charm later on just to, I'm putting some up in the Etsy shop to sell. So that's what I'm doing. So you just want to put your gloves on because we're going to start working with the clay. Okay, and you want to just unwrap your clay. Now, if it's a brand new thing of clay, then obviously you don't have to unwrap it out of the tin foil or the saran wrap bag. But for me, mine's not new, so I've been using it for a few different craft projects. If you haven't seen one of them, I made a seashell one that turned out really cute. I will put the card up somewhere. But we're going to be, I got to unwrap this. It's like a present, so I can roll it out and mix our color into it. Thank you. 
Okay, and you want to make sure that whenever you get your clay, you get a fairly decent amount. I'm not exactly sure how much I end up using. I would say just kind of, I just grabbed like a big kind of chunk with my hand and used it. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure the exact measurement here because I didn't measure it, but just get, get enough to where you can make you one or two charms depending on what you want to do. And always, always, always make sure once you get done using your clay that you seal it back up because like I said, it will dry out. And air dry clay, if anybody knows, is not that cheap. So we don't want all of that clay to go to waste. Alright, so now we're going to start working with our clay and you want to just try to get it rolled into a ball and just to get it softened up a little bit. Mine is pretty soft, but it, I did need to actually roll it and kind of meet it a little bit. So now we're just going to be pouring our color in there. Mine's just some metallic, I think it's, it's acrylic paint, but it's got like a metallic sheen to it. It's got like a purple metallic sheen to it. I'm just adding a little bit because I do want to be able to put the essential oil onto my clay charm since I'm using it in the car for an oil diffuser. If you mix too much of the paint with the air dry clay, then the it won't work as a diffusing tool. So just bear that in mind if you're going to be doing this same process. If not, then you can add as much as you want and make it just into a cute little car dangly charm. But for me, I'm just going to keep adding paint until I get to a desired color, but not too much to where the process that I want to do with the oil isn't going to work. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Once we get our clay the color that we want, we're going to try and flatten it out some so we can actually start putting our design into it. Now for me, I tried to use the ketchup bottle to actually help me roll it out, but it didn't really work because there wasn't anything in it, so it didn't really have enough form for me to be able to do that. But once you get it all nice and flat, then you're just going to go ahead and press out your design. For me, I did my bat. Just make sure that you are very, very careful whenever you remove your cookie cutter or your design from your clay because you want to make sure that it holds that form and it doesn't mess up. For me, I had enough clay in there that even with me putting a little bit of pressure on it when I extracted it out of the cookie cutter mold that it didn't really mess up or anything as you can see in the clip. And some parts are a bit thicker than others. For me, I didn't mind if you're a perfectionist and you can make it all the same size over. That's where a good kind of clay pen or like clay rolling pen comes in handy. But also for me, um, you know, it doesn't really matter since that one's going to be mine. Now for the two small ones, I did try to make sure that I use the excess clay and make them a bit more of the same thickness since I am putting those two up in the shop if anybody is interested. But... Once we get that done, then we can move on to the charms. And just a little side note, I did try to use my paper to emboss a design onto my bat. If you can tell in the clip that I just put a little, I put it over the top of my clay and then I used my paint bottle to try and add a bit more pressure onto it to roll it on there. But it didn't really work out so I ended up just using a little bat charm that I had later and I just ended up doing that for it and it made a little design just to kind of catch the oil in there but I mean that's completely optional to you so but if you want to do that it adds an extra touch but again it's completely optional for me it didn't really work out so I ended up doing something different. 
Okay, and the last thing we are going to do is use our little eye pins to be able to embed them into the clay. You're also going to need some wire cutters, you know, or some tools to cut the the little pins to make them into shorter shapes. I didn't mention that at the start, but you're going to need those for me. Silly me, I used my good crafting scissors and I'm paying for this now, but you know, we live and we learn. Learn from my mistakes. Don't use your good craft scissors to do this. But all you're going to do is just, like for me, the first one, I used it as the size that it comes in, and you're just going to embed that into the clay. So you're just going to push it in, and you want to make sure that you get it in there evenly so it doesn't come poking out the side and you know it holds in there good now for the remainder of them because where I'm going to put them is a bit shorter I just went ahead and I cut them to I think I cut them pretty much in half just so I could embed them into my little bat so that it gives me enough to be able to attach the charms at the bottom of the wings and to be able to attach the chain that I'm going to be using later on up at the top Alrighty, and once you have your eye pins in your desired area, you're just going to move on from there. Now, I didn't record the next little part, but you'll be able to see it at the at the beginning and the end of this video. But um, once you have your eye pins in where you desire, where you want to hang your chain and where you want to put your charms, you're going to let it dry. For about 24 hours, you just want to make sure it's really good and hard. The little ones didn't take as long, whereas the bigger one, it took a bit longer. I think it did take all of 24 hours to completely dry. But then what's that? You can add your chain and your charms onto it, and it's ready for display. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoy that. I'm sorry. It looked like it took a long process, but the main thing you have to do with these guys is since they are made out of air dry clay, you do have to allow enough time for them to dry. This one took about 24 hours and it is fully, completely dry, but because this one is a little bit thicker, it still honestly could use about another day of drying. So just be mindful of that when you make your own. And all I did, as you can see, is just use cookie cutters and I made my cute cute little designs so I figured this would be better for some people to have in their vehicles if I'm going to be selling it whereas me I just wanted to I just wanted to make it a bit crazy so yeah that's what I did but um if you would like me to make some of these and post them in the store if you like the bigger size better then let me know down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to but for now I'm just going to be posting these small guys just because for convenience for everybody else me I just I don't care obviously I don't care I went big well not completely because as you saw there was one more size but I hope you did enjoy these and all you do is once you get done and the clay is all dry and everything is just like you do with the necklaces you just in the little grooves that we made on here or any you could put it just anywhere on here honestly but you put the oil on it and then it diffuses into the vehicle and you know you refill it as needed so I'm going to be trying this in mine because right now it has that new car smell and I don't like this smell so I have some pumpkin spice oil that I'm going to that I got in I think a Zen Me gifts box if you haven't seen that video go check it out it was kind of one of my older videos so forgive the so forgive the quality <laughs> we'll put it that way forgive the quality but um yeah so I'm gonna be using that in this and no it is not too safe for pumpkin spice stuff no it's not don't rain on my parade <laughs> but we're, this is what I'm gonna be trying for this one and if it works out we're gonna try and put one in Eddie's because his truck for some reason I don't care what air freshener you put in it it's not gonna stay it'll be there for like two days and then it's done and it goes back to smell like oil so 
I don't, I mean, uh, so we're going to try. We're going to try this in his and see what happens. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you had a lovely time crafting. And hopefully you can make your own. And let me know down in the comments if you have. And, you know, tag me and all that. So we can share all the things that we have currently made. Um, And that is it for this craft video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a lovely, 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 lovely. I can't get through one video without messing up, can I? I just I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. But I hope you have a lovely, fabulous day, night, or evening wherever you are. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.